I can tell you tomorrow morning, the kids are going to be running downstairs seeing what I did with these boxes. What did you get in your box? A few pencils, a uh, three pencils, <laughs> uh, some queen, two three crayons, and a uh, uh, eraser, glue, and scissors, and some pen, Mommy, uh, can coloring you give me pencils. One? Right? Do you like it? Are you going to take care of it and keep it all nice? Good morning. It is Wednesday, and Janelle is making waffles this morning. She has this waffle maker going, and then she's also using her Nordic Wear waffle maker. Trying it again. Okay, and tell us about uh, your waffle maker. Well, I don't. The, the first one always comes out okay. The subsequent ones. So that's what's cooking now. I'm just trying to make sure they're good and cooked, so they just flop out. In the past, they stick. And I mean, they stick. And you take a knife and you have to chisel it off. But Aunt Laura, Art's sister, sent me the instruction manual and it says you have to grease it really well. So I'm thinking the more I use it, the better it's going to get. And Aunt Laura has always has this type of stuff because she specializes in vintage kitchenware and she has an Etsy store. So she very kindly gave this to me instead of selling it. So thank you, Aunt Laura. So we'll see if that helped. Yeah, and her link, if you guys are interested in some of her kitchenwares, which she's got some really cool stuff at times, and it goes fast. I'll put the link in the description. You guys can go check her out. It's really, really a neat place. Oh, you want more? Let's see how it worked. Wow. Yep, it worked. So it really helped having the instruction manual. <laughs> Daddy's calculator in here. That's actually my calculator. Well, it's also yours and mine. And that's for you to share with the other kids. A protractor. That's the share Two tab. pencils. Blue and an eraser. Yeah, and remember what's in there and you keep track of it and keep it in good shape. Mm -hmm. We put a J on the pencil. John's pencils and a P on Peter's pencil. Yeah, probably a good idea. That's Mary's. Mm -hmm. What's in your box? Oh, oh, I see something already. Didn't your crayons go in a box? Well, Mary, you need to keep those together so you know exactly how Actually, many crayons don't you have. don't blame her. I took them out. Oh, okay, well, oh, let's God. put them back in. Oh, and God. we have eight crayons. I think we're missing one crayon already. Oh, yeah, we are. We're missing no, one crayon. Oh, yeah, we're missing... Red? Orange. No. Oh, orange. Yes. Where's the orange crayon? I found that. Where is it? Found it. Where is it? Found it. Okay. Mary, keep Kids. Together. Do you Mary. see a problem with that, Mary? Keep your, keep your fingers. Crayons together. do not go on the floor. Look what I got. I um I got a a brand of um pencils. Kodak. Kodak and Lydia got Crayola. I got glue. And why do we do it that way, Peter? Because we know who the guilty person is. Right. If there's something laying around, we know who and did I it. Have then I have a eraser and I have glue. I got this glue. I got this glue. I got glue. Uh oh. I'll help you. Oh, Lydia, we all have I Heart You. Who wrote that? Charity. Oh, that was nice of her. Kiddos, put away your boxes. It's time to eat. And make sure you have everything in your box that's supposed to be there. Oh, uh, kiddos, we have a little problem. So, oh, no, no. What happened here? Somebody did something. Who was it? Mary. Who put those papers there? Okay, now, now put your things away. Oh, look what else we got. So this is up here. Intake. This is my, uh, Peter, put it back. That's mommy's. Even though he's not supposed to read at the table, you do have to admire a kid who reads about um, imperial woodpeckers. Look at this. He is almost done reading about his woodpeckers. Our future ornithologist in the family. Maybe.
It is. Probably. I don't know. Future Maybe ornithologist. Not. Yeah. Peter's not sure if he wants to study birds or be a digger man. So he want, he's thinking he wants to be an ornodigologist. Mm -hmm. What do you want to be, Peter? Ornodigologist. <laughs> that's, that's someone who studies birds yeah. and yeah. digs. The kids are working on their schoolwork. Yeah, I work on my own and, Oh, careful, Mary. Lydia, or Mary's doing her glue, and I'm not sure what Lydia's doing over there. You doing some glue, too? Yeah, everybody seems like they're having a good time. Pete's going to do some schoolwork with me. We just did some bug investigating here with some bees and hornets. And if you haven't seen these cars, these are by a back end now. These were mine when I was a kid, but I think these are still very much available. And they're really neat because they're great pictures. And then you turn it over, and it shows you the actual size. It tells you what um, category it falls into, and then it gives a little bit of facts about it. And in our quest for cleaning, hang on, we'll jump just I ahead. found that. Peter found this book. I bought this several years ago. It's an Osborne Egyptian book, and it's a quick links book. So in the back, you go to that website, and John can learn more about it online. Well, I'm also going to do it with Peter. All right, that works. That's good education, we right? Help. All right, Mommy, get off the YouTube, and I'll start, we need I'll help. start helping we need you. Help. I was just eating lunch and then I was like, hey, you know what? You guys probably want to see what I made. I'm going to be putting the recipe up on my blog, so make sure you take a look for that in the description below. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but whatever it is, it came out really good. So let me show you what I made. You guys know that I've been trying to do a lot with zoodles lately. So this is zucchini, tomatoes, onion, fresh basil, and fresh oregano, some did I say tomatoes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. All right, tomatoes in case I didn't say it. And then I topped it off after that was cooked down with some half and half, a little bit of cheddar cheese, and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. It's just a really nice, light, summery type of dish, and that's what I'm eating for my lunch today. I asked the kids if they liked it, and John said, hey, it wasn't too bad. Art Adam said, like it. <laughs> Pete liked it. Charity, did you like it? Charity liked it. Art said he thought we would have a hard time getting the little girls to eat it, but if I had something else on the side, or even if I serve this as a side dish, it really is very tasty, and the cream helps smooth out the acidity of the tomatoes, and it just makes a really nice sauce. It's 3 o'clock, and I have both little girls actually sleeping, and that's fabulous because that's two days in a row that I've gotten them to sleep in the afternoon. So I just finished whipping up some of the Trim Healthy Mama's skinny chocolate. And if you guys haven't tried that, it's also the equivalent to the cocoa crack, which you see on the low carb forms. It's pretty much just coconut oil, uh, stevia, or xylitol, whatever you like bugs. And coconut oil chocolate. And then I added some of my new coconut, sweet coconut that I got along with some of my chopped pecans. So that's gonna be my afternoon treat after it freezes for a little bit. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of editing while the big kids are playing a game of Empire. Looks like my skinny chocolate is all done. <laughs> Looks like it got a little stuck to the paper. Art and the kids have gone to the post office and also the local music store to pick up some more repairs for Art to do. And I'm working on researching dinner. And tonight I want to do sort of a take on what I did for lunch, except it'll be for everyone else. And I'm going to not do it with the zoodles because I don't think I have enough zucchini. I I might be able to do it with yellow squash, but I don't want to push it with the kids and I want something that they're gonna gobble up and eat. So we're gonna do a take on that. There was a recipe on my Pinterest board that did this one pot pasta a skillet dish. Pretty much the same thing that I did, except you can cook the spaghetti noodles directly in the pot, which is what I'm looking for. So the only difference I'm going to be doing today, tonight instead of what I did earlier is I'm going to be doing this with some chicken with it too. So it'll be chicken, pasta, cherry tomatoes, basil, and a cream sauce. I am really looking forward to this dish. Piggy Boo, what are you doing in there? You're a happy girl. We all make we were all playing it. 
I heated up some hot oil and threw in the chicken breast that I chopped up and added some onion, salt, and pepper, and I'm just getting the chicken browned. Let's see how it's doing. No, it's got to keep going. We'll just leave it here. And then in the meantime, I'm prepping my tomatoes. I'm going to cut these probably into eighths so they cook down, and then I need to go pick my fresh herbs. The chicken is nice and brown now, and I'm going to add just a little bit of white cooking wine. You can use chicken broth if you don't have cooking wine to deglaze the pan. That's about that much. This may be a quarter cup. Okay, Mary. Just try to scrape up the brown bits on the bottom. Okay. Oh, careful. That's right. Mommy, I want to do it. There we go. Careful, careful. Oh, chicken. Chicken. Does it look good? I've chopped up all my tomatoes here. There's probably about two Maybe cups worth. That. Maybe a little bit more. We'll just toss them right in. Like that? Like yeah. that. Gently, um, gently, gently mix them in. I also picked some fresh basil and fresh oregano. Fresh, I'm not sure I'm actually going to use all this bas basil for the initial cooking. I might use it to sprinkle it on at the end, but we're definitely going to use one of these in the recipe while it's cooking to flavor the pasta. I added about three quarters of a box of pasta and then I'm just going to add some water. This is, I'm going to probably start with close to two cups of water, maybe not quite two. And I'm just going to stir this and make sure that it all gets cooked. And I might have to add more water if it doesn't cook. And we'll cover it and let it go. I've got some cheddar cheese here that I'm going to add to the skillet to let melt in. I'm also going to add about a half a cup, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And lastly, I'm going to add just a little bit of half and half to just even out the flavors. We'll stir it up and see how it tastes. It's all done and it tastes really good and I think the kids are going to like it. What's really nice is the cream. The cream just evens out the acidity of the tomatoes and the cheese just adds a lot of body and flavor to it. So obviously you can adjust those. I'm going to start settling down. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you for our next video. Good night.